Atheist Republic suspended from Twitter. Ay, Dios mío. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On November 14th, Atheist Republic's Twitter, at Atheist Republic, was incorrectly suspended from the platform due to multiple false copyright claims. AR's Twitter account began, began getting hit with provably false copyright claims in late August 2021, and the number of these false claims began accelerating through November. Several pieces of content taken down due to the so-called copyright infringement were reinstated after Twitter determined that the copyright claim was incorrect, therefore, you know, proving that we are not violating policies. The copyright, however, the copyright claims uh, system was exploited due to the period of review for counter notifications taking much longer than the process to make a claim against the account. This allowed the false claimers to hit the Atheist Republic account with claims more quickly than they can be reviewed, ultimately leading to our suspension. This is clearly an abuse of Twitter's copyright claim system and must be corrected. And once again, this incident highlights the importance of having personal contacts within large social media companies, as there is literally little to no hope of having these issues correctly remedied otherwise. So if you or anyone you know works at Twitter, if you have them in your um, networking circles, uh, please reach out to me, Atheist Republic's president and CEO at Susanna at atheistrepublic.com. Um, that Wait, would be, write your email, it, write your email in the live chat so I could highlight that. Yes. Um, having someone reach out to us with a contact would be, uh, just, it would change the situation entirely for us. Um, these, this is, is just a really sketchy situation altogether. So, um, Oh, since August, our account has been hit with seven different false copyright claims. Um, at least three of the copyright claims Twitter reviewed and then reinstated that content because they determined, hey, they actually are not able to prove that they are the rightful copyright owners, right? And um, all of these copyright claims originated in Bangladesh, every single one of them. Many of these copyright claims were from like repeated individuals. There were a few names that, because when you make a copyright claim, these are memes, someone, by the way. They're they're yeah. doing copyright claims against memes by going. They when we post a meme, okay, they go and take the meme. These are not not work of art or anything. They're not comics. They're just memes with like just pictures with text on it, like people that they're all over the internet. Okay, so they go and download the meme. They put it on a website. And then they copy the link and use that link on the on the website that they put the meme on after we posted it on our on our on our Facebook on our Twitter account. For and they some go of and them, Twitter, not all of them. Well, no, I mean some of the, like they were have been posted for many, many, many years. Like they yeah. have been being reposted over and over again, right? And then they go use the link that they have, the new link that they have to to do a copyright claim against a meme that has been posted on Twitter and Twitter automatically, right, accepts the copyright claim, like there's no human involvement. And then you're supposed to appeal it. And then when you have, every time we appeal it after a week or so, um, somebody looks it's at it. It's much out, longer than a week. It's supposed okay, to be 10 business days. It takes, right. it's taken at least three weeks sometimes. Right. So it, it takes a couple of weeks for people, so for a human to take a look at it and then uh, to do, undo the copyright claim. So the, these, these, these people, these religious people have figured out a way to overwhelm the system. Like after you get a certain number of copyright claims, bef um, you get, yeah, I can't get suspended. So all they have to do is just to stack them up fast before the appeal process gets through. And once the appeal process gets through, the ones that you appealed before, it, it just goes nowhere. And you can't do the appeals anymore because you don't have an account. So they just found a loophole in the system to just do you know, unfounded copyright claims for you to take your account down. By the way, guys, these are religious people who tell atheists that we have no morals, okay? They are using they are using provable lies like they out like they these people know that we're not doing any copyright that we're not really violating any copyright like these are memes okay and they're using such dishonest tactics as a way to take our take down our twitter account 
Like these are, did you see the moral standard? These are people that are supposed to be on the side of morality and we're supposed to be the evil ones. And they're using such lies and such tactics, such dishonest tactics as a way to take down somebody because you don't have any other way to react to them because they, they're trying to suppress your speech. They're trying to suppress what you have to say and they can't even use their own, like you, ha you haven't even, not only you haven't said anything wrong, you haven't said anything e e that even violates the platform's rules. Like they, this is not even against the community standards of the platform. So they just have to use a loophole to get rid of us. And, and they say atheists have no morals. It's amazing. It's amazing how sensitive these people are. By the way, uh, do you have the tweet of the Hindutva, the Hindu the, 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 who went and take, took credit for this? Can you send me the Ooh, link to that? Wait a second. Let me find it. Yeah, I I'll pull go, that up I right now. I want to show like, the, 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 the people who took credit for this were like these Hindutva uh, jihadis. And they're celebrating the fact that. By the way, let me just tell you guys. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. Like, I don't know what you think this is going to do because you guys do your ta use your tactics and use your dishonest ways and your um, lies to try to get us to get intimidated and stop. But we're going to get just do what we what what is the right thing to do. We're going to keep um, shining a light on your, you know, Hindutva bull crap. Like we're going to, we're going to, so here's the thing. You think like you're using, and again, given the ways that you try to take out um, our, you know, voices and our opinions and our, what we have to say, the methods that you use, shouldn't that tell you something about who you are? Don't you, don't you think like you're on the wrong side? Like, don't you like, don't you look into the mirror and like, we, we must be the evil people um, in the, in this battle. Right. And here's the thing. You can take out everything we have. You could take out our Facebook, our Twitter, keep, uh, you know, giving us strikes on YouTube, keep finding um, loopholes in these social media platforms as a way to take down our account. We're going to keep doing like every time we come back stronger than before, like every time you took down one of our platforms, this is not going to make us stop. We know that we're doing the right thing to do. We're going to keep doing this regardless of the results. And we always make it make it through. We always make it through. No matter how many of these things, you, how many of these tactics tactics you use, we're this is, we're only getting started. By the way, guys, like we have a multi-decade mission and going after your your hand dude for bullcrap, right? So you think like you could just stop us by taking a yeah? Here's the thing, this is like this is 130k followers of our, our Twitter account that that we managed to grow a uh, atheist republic Twitter account after like a decade of work. And these people spend weeks using this manipulative, dishonest way of taking it down. Okay. Here's the thing. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're going to keep doing, we're going to, you, you keep burning while we keep building. Okay. You keep burning things down. You keep burning things down. We keep building them up. We will take, we will take another decade and we will build back better. Right. We will build back stronger than before. Right. We will, we will remake all of these things. We will refine our community. We're not leaving India. We, India is too precious for us to let, let it go. Just because you people are ruining India, that doesn't mean we're going to give up on India. We're going to, we care for India and we value our community. And you think you have discon disconnected us from our community. We will make it. We will remake all of this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much you come at us, but go ahead, Susanna. Well, okay. So here I found on Twitter, um, so if you guys remember back when the personal Twitter accounts of myself and Armin got banned, you will remember that there are these Hindutva IT cells who spend their time mass reporting accounts to get them suspended and banned for criticizing India or criticizing Hinduism. And then they'll celebrate the fact that these accounts that they reported got banned. So I found one example of a group doing this um, and suspended Atheist Republic. And because we have a hundred, we had 130 K followers, we got four fire emojis. Okay. The more fire emojis, the bigger, the, the trophy for them. And so in, in this screenshot, you can see that they took a screenshot of our um, account and then they took a screenshot of them reporting our account because you can see here it says accounts that you reported. Um, and 
it just it drives me crazy that there are accounts that are dedicated to mass targeted mass reporting and abuse of Twitter's reporting systems, and they are allowed to continue to be on the platform while they are openly manipulating Twitter's terms of service and their their policies that are supposed to be in place. Um, this was our Atheist Republic account, to my knowledge, was the largest atheist-centered Twitter account on the platform, and it's gone, just like that, because a couple of individuals wanted to exploit Twitter's reporting systems. Um, the good news is, in terms of reasons why an account would get suspended, this is one of the most, um, I think, easy to remedy if we could get a human to look at this, this should be an easier to remedy as opposed to getting suspended because we were called like spreading hateful conduct or something, right? This is of obvious um, manipulation of Twitter systems. And the thing is, is that not only were in every single example, they could not prove that they are the rightful copyright owners. In fact, now I've gone back to look at the links where they were telling Twitter that this is where you can find the original content. Many of their websites have now suddenly disappeared. Wow. Like it's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So please, you guys, I really need you to, this is a moment where of the atheist public, we need our community. We need our community to help us. So uh, if you work in tech or any industry, think throughout your extended, you know, uh, network who might work at Twitter that could help us. Um, it would be, I would be so eternally thankful and it would really make a big difference to our organization. Um, but like Armin said, either way, we're not going to stop. We're going to continue. And this is another reason why it's important for people to sign up for our newsletter. Link is in the description because they can target us on any single platform, on Twitter, on YouTube, mm. anywhere we are, they can target us, but they cannot take our newsletter from us. So yes. if you always want to be able to know where you can find us next, even if we get nuked off of everywhere else, you should subscribe to our newsletter because that's where we will be keeping in touch with our community. Um, yeah, this also actually, reminds me really quickly um, in the top of the description for this video, you should see a link that says help her get our Twitter account back. Please copy and paste the text in this tweet and make our own tweet, your own tweet to support atheist Republic. And um, I'll put a link in the live chat as well. Um, but if mm. you go click this link, it's to a tweet from secular jihadists. And if you could either retweet this tweet or like I said, copy the what's in this tweet and then post it yourself, this will help us a lot because it's tagging Twitter support, alerting people saying, hey, this is wrong, this shouldn't have happened. And um, it we want more people aware of this issue and more people talking about it. It would be a huge help to us. So, um, yeah, yes. this is what the tweet says. So please copy and paste that and re repost it yourself with the dot included. I do want to, and also make sure you um, email Susanna if you have any leads. But but I do see some people suggesting that uh, we should go to other platforms. Guys, the other platform is the newsletter. None of these platforms could be uh, trusted. Like this is what the newsletter is the only way that we could uh, that we have full control over our audience. That's why you should subscribe to our newsletter. Also, a reminder that if you do subscribe to our newsletter, we do have gifts for you. We have our blasphemous art sent to you. Um, so make sure, yeah, th that's make sure you're there. Okay, um, th that's one thing. Another thing is that it's amazing how flawed Twitter is because these not only these people take down our accounts in such uh, dishonest ways. But they also brag about it on Twitter, like the, the fact that they managed to take down these accounts. Like they're on Twitter bragging about the fact that they do this. Like it's so obvious for anybody looking at it that this is like a, a misuse of the reporting system. But there's like there's no there's not much attempt for Twitter to just like 
close these loopholes. So they don't they don't give a crap unless you raise this thing so high that they like all of a sudden they pay attention, right? But other than that, they won't pay attention. Like this is so obviously like we obviously didn't violate anything. We're posting memes. These are memes that everybody else is posting. But because we have a target on our back, because these Hindus are butthurt over like a few goddesses that we made some drawings of. By the way, these drawings will never stop. Like, I don't know what you think you're doing. Even if we are completely wiped out of Twitter, we're going to make sure that th these cartoons of your gods and goddesses haunt you for the, for the, forever. OK, if this is what you're trying to stop, we this is going we're going to have we're going to have 10 times more. We're going to have a thousand times more of these drawings. OK, you have literally funded us. You all of your activity has funded us to to, first of all, defend ourselves legally with all the police reports and court, um, you know, the legal uh, filings that you have reported against us. So you have funded, you you made, you gave us a community where, where uh, they're supporting us legally to defend ourselves that way. By the way, guys, the link to the GoFundMe for that is also in the description. And also you have given us enough patrons for us to not just like Mother Kelly, your, the goddess that we made that started all of this, but like now a lot more, a lot more. And we will never stop thanks to you. So, and you think last time you tried this, last time you took out my Twitter account, you thought we were going to stop. We now are making it 10 times better. Now you took out Atheist Republic's Twitter account. Imagine, you think last time we, st did that make us stop? What do you think is going to happen now? Okay. We're only going to use this as a rallying cry to just find more people to join us, right? We're all only going to use this as a rallying cr cry to bring more attention to how, how sensitive, how pathetically weak you guys are that you're raising all of this over some drawings of your goddesses like you True. thought let's you yeah thought, let's not forget that that's what this is about this is about cartoons yeah. yes you thought you thought the muslim community is sensitive not at all not even remotely close to these butthurt hindus for my god like they have i they have outdone outdone any other community when it comes they to are gay. the most like, sensitive babies i have ever seen yeah it's crazy yeah anyways we're gonna there will be more cartoons and we will we we're gonna keep building our communities and there's nothing you could do to stop that there's nothing you're only giving us more creative we're gonna you're only gonna give us more creative ways to build our own community independent from these platforms right um we just made that. Didn't we just make that goddess? We just we came up with that. We did just make art. a Saraswati art. It was one of my yes. favorite ones, actually. Yeah. AJ didn't like it, but but I. <laughs> <laughs> um... Guys, oh yeah, actually, with regards to our art, some people are complaining. With uh, some people are loving the new styles that we're bringing up with our uh, goddesses, gods and goddesses, uh, but some people are loving it. But the whole point of the new styles is to um have you know these gods and goddesses with so that different people you know for the different tastes like we're going to make different styles for different tastes so if you don't like one style don't worry we're going to make so many different styles atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abhabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.